What are we thinking? Clay was 0 for 10. Steph looked exhausted. That was my note. Steph looked exhausted out there, man. Hey, man. It's time. It might be time to get a, a you know, a couple new base members. You know, a couple new cats in the horn section. You might have to break the band up. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to break up Steph, Clay, and Dre. Well, you that's might have to break them up, man. Clay's a free agent. He went 0 for 10. So it wasn't even like a. You have a bad game, but 0 for 10 is 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 tough to have. Do we think we see Clay back? Nah, I doubt. I really think they should have traded them probably a couple years ago where you could have got the most for them. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. you know, Bob Myers and those guys, I mean, when you're in the know, you see the decline in the players before everybody else see it. Right. So, you know, he see it. You know what I'm saying? It could just be one play. He, could, he saw it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you should have traded him and got some younger guys, younger superstars around Steph so he don't got to work as hard. Just like you said, he look exhausted because he has to work so hard to get open, just even get, just for somebody to pass in the ball, I mean, they, they deny him. Run, I mean, because, yeah. you know, you got to do all that extra stuff. And when you're young and you got that young boy energy, you can do that all day long. But how old is Steph now? About 30, 35, maybe? 33, 35? Yeah, he's, 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 35. he's, you know what I mean? Better so, now. so yeah. yeah, you know, man, everybody but LeBron, you know, <laughs> tires out as they get in 30s, get in the, the mid-30s. But, you know, he, they just need some young boys around to take the pressure off of him. You know, I love, um, I love Kaminga. Yep. I love Trace, mm -hmm. Trace Davis. I love Moody, but they need a superstar there that can that can help him. You know, because like Wiggins is kind of just floating a little bit. I thought Wiggins would be a guy for him, but they need they need to trade some of those pieces away and bring in a superstar, young superstar that can kind of help Steph kind of get his money because everybody is locked in on Steph so much and just kind of like, are right, we gonna let the other guy score? They need mm -hmm. another superstar, and like she just said, I think it is time to break the band up. What, what year is this for him? For Steph? Anybody know? Yeah. I, 12, 13. Yeah, Steph was the 20... At least? 11 draft? Yeah, he, Steph, yeah, Steph been in this thing for a minute, man. They, they 12, 13. Yeah, he got a lot of minutes, too. He, <laughs> yeah. He yeah, got so, a lot, no, he got a lot yeah. of minutes on his legs, man. Oh, yeah. You know, if you think about it, they went on a hellacious run, yeah. got them four rings, and he about to do the Olympics, too. And then, yeah. that, you know, that's a two-year commitment with things. And You're 14. In the summer. Oof. 09 draft, excuse me. 09 draft. Yeah, You're 14. yeah he got a lot of miles on his legs, man. Yeah, and I... I think it's time definitely to break the band up. You know, you get, you know, and I love Draymond. You got to trade Draymond and and Clay. It just is what it is. Yeah, because Steph, that's, well, Clay's not going to trade so Steph. He, well, you can't, I'm sorry. I was going to say, he could walk. Like, say if he gets an offer, he could just walk. Yeah, or they might do a sign and trade. That, Steph, I, Steph is going to remain there. Oh, uh, Steph is a life. He, he locked in, so. Steph but would he, like you were saying, maybe you trade him a couple years ago, but can you do that to guys you won four rings with? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Oh, okay. Well, then. Gee, next question. They traded. They traded Pittsburgh. He got six. I mean, at no. I mean, ninety nine point nine percent of the league though. is trade. Is they keeping like if Jordan was still there and they traded Pitt. I mean, if they Man, look, if they win, they yeah. do what's best for the team, bro. Yeah. All that personal shit these motherfuckers is feeling. Oh man, I'm not gonna play and this and that. No, they do, they gonna do what's best for the team. You gotta think how much money he about to ask for. Mm hmm. His number probably still 20, 25 million. Clay, Clay was making 40 last year. I know, so his number is at least 20, I was gonna say 25. That's, well, that's why. You know what I'm saying? I don't hate him staying with the Warriors. He probably can't re-sign for that 40 he was making. He's not yeah. the player he was when he signed that. That's what he got to go but for. But if, yeah, if he signed for something less, I could see him staying. I don't think that's too crazy. But what if somebody else want to give him some money? What if like Orlando or somebody want to come in? Or we need Denver. a dead eye shooter. Denver, like we want to. If shooter. I'm San Antonio, like yeah. if I'm trying to compete with Wim, like I want that type of shooting. You gotta have that veteran. type. Of no, ain't ain't got no time. What you mean? You need more pieces. Yeah. I mean, he gonna be one of my pieces. But how long is it gonna take you to build that team up? It takes a while. To I, with the way Wimbanyama playing, man, I don't know. What you mean you don't know? Okay, Wamba Wamba go down then. We're, <laughs> oh, we're fucked either way, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> what I care about that. But, but, we don't practice but, for that. But we gonna have other cats that's gonna be able to at least, you know what I'm saying, hold their own. Mm. You can't just, no. And I don't think, I mean, if Clay went there, it could be for the money, because he already got rings, so. Yeah. You know, I think, yeah, wherever he goes, going to be for the bread. He got, what, four? Yeah, they got four. They got four of them things. Four of them ting tings. Yep. Like, fuck it. Like, Let me get all this bread. Yeah. Like, you were saying the young superstar, where they could have had it is where they drafted James Wiseman, honestly. And, like, players, yeah. players don't work out for different reasons. But that was the, like, LaMelo was in that draft. Tyrese Halliburton was in that draft. They could have got a number of other, even solid yeah. guys. But who really That would have been, like, the young super, I think. To but who really him. knew that? That Halliburton and them was gonna be that for good. For sure. It's all yeah, you some know, of his hindsight. If like you bring Mello those guys in, that's the same spot as Steph and Clay. 
You know what I mean? How, Wiseman, in it. all our opinion, if we did that draft back then, they need a big that can protect the rim and that can play. I thought Wiseman was going to be a great pro. It's really right. just kind of throwing me off that he hasn't evolved like I thought he was going to evolve. But, I mean, but with the pieces they got now, they got to make something shake. They got to. to put the mental. Yeah, they got to put something around. You know, did you coach? You had, did you have him? I uh, you had Nike. him at Nike, didn't you? Yeah, I remember we talked about it. Yeah. You, the, the mental, what do, you, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, when you when you coming into the league, if you don't have that good, solid foundation as far as, like, they're with you, it's one thing when you have your parents supporting from a distance. They might be back in their hometown yeah. or even if they're with you. But the, the mental for a rookie coming into the NBA and you don't have a veteran mentor, it's like, shit. It's Dr what was Drake supposed to be? I got to figure it out on my own. But no, I mean Dre, but he's only one though. Like it's it's, it's a village type shit though, cause it's, it's think about young on some young bullshit. Like let's say if you Dre and I'm Wiseman and something happened, I'm mad with you. Well, all right, off of the court, you know all those extra questions I ask you, like yo, so if this happened, blase blase, you know what about? It ain't gonna be no more there, cause at the moment, cause I'm a young boy, you know I ain't mature enough to yet to think about the whole total team. Right. And I'm putting my feelings first. Like man, fuck Dre, man. You know, this is, hey, hey, what's up, man? You know, yeah. I'm over here hanging with Jordan Poole now, man. You know? <laughs> so, Draymond is but, not hanging with Jordan. No, I'm talking about if I was wise. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> but you need more than that one veteran on that team, man. You like, it's, it's, it's actually some real village shit. You know, that's what uh, I loved about when we won. And if you look at it, a lot of the teams that have won championships, mm. they got that veteran core. Yeah, mm -hmm. it ain't a lot of these young boys. As good as OKC is, you know, Orlando is a good young squad. I like Paulo down there, everything. But they ain't gonna win it down there no time soon, cause it's gonna be something where they got to put the pieces together. You gonna have to go through all the motherfucking hurt, the pain, the agony, all that shit. It's gonna go up and down. You are gonna win big games in the regular season and then lose games when it count. Then you are gonna go. Get past that, you're gonna go to the playoffs, then you're gonna lose in the first round, something to your rivals, this and that, come back next year, it's gonna increase it and so on. You gotta go through that agony, dog. You won't somehow, some way. Like, oh! <laughs> like, I love that shit. Like, when <laughs> we beat the Lakers when I was in Detroit, because, man, me and this man took so many ass whoopings from the Lakers, dog. <laughs> uh, that was years of brewing. <laughs> oh, man. It was it, it was like finally pushed through the door. Because, you know, like Kobe and Shaq, of course, they were great adversaries together. And, and the Lakers always had great players at those other key spots yeah, yeah. with a lot of those teams that, was, uh, that we were going against down there. Like, man, shit. And we couldn't get over that hump. But when I got to Detroit, was able to get over that hump against them, like, it felt good. It felt redemption. Yeah. Mm. So, like, getting over that hump, but then also, like, evolve into a different stage of your career, what's it going to be like for Clay to be like, okay, I'm not that, you know, 20-plus lock up the or defend the number one perimeter option. Maybe I do have to take a step back in either money or minutes or shots or whatever. What's it like making that? I mean, I just think he got to humble himself. And I think, you know, he's a humble player. He's really quiet. I mean, how he goes about his business. And as long as he just take the humble route and just understand what it is, mm. I think he'll be fine. You know, I think he'll be fine because he's always been a pro. You know, he's always been a pro. I've you never heard nothing about Clay, really, off the court, maybe some stuff since college, but who, who didn't do some wild shit in college? But I think Clay, mm -hmm. um, Clay is a pro's pro. I think he can go anywhere and be that veteran yeah. voice. Yeah. He can go you know, bring that championship cachet to a locker room and guys can kind of, you know, pull strength off him a little bit. Like, okay, let's talk to Clay about these situations and that we need to get over this hump. And I think he'll be great. And the couple of teams that we named, you know, I think he will help some of those young boys kind of, kind of, you know, get that confidence, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, just kind of just being a, a veteran guy that's been there, done that, you know, he could tell them championship stories. You know, I told you a story about Scottie Pippen and just really motivating me about his championship runs and showing me his rings and stuff like that. That's just motivating. Right. And I think, you know, him doing stuff like that to some of these young boys, I mean, I think it could just, you know, just, you know, just help those guys tremendously in their in their basketball journey, you know, and trying to win a ring or just trying to, I, you know, just trying to get identity for themselves within the NBA ranks, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, because everybody want to make a name for themselves. For sure. Yeah.
And now we just got to say, skip the Warriors. So we can't sit up here and be like, oh, the Warriors played a bad game. No, fuck, Sacramento played a great damn game. Yeah, no, they got to get their, so they, they get their you, credit you, for you, sure. You know, tip your hat to sack. They, they like they the bean. A great damn game. Oh, like the, oh. Yeah, like the bean. Like the bean. I know you probably had a couple calls from some people you oh, might for know. Sure, from, for sure. From they, over they, there. they was turned up in sack last year. <laughs> definitely turned up. As they should be. Like we talked about, Golden State put them out last year, the rivalry, yep. them being yep. so close. You know how good said, that win, like beating oh, them by man. 20, you know how good that probably felt for what? the Kings? Man, the city was turned up. As I just said, though, they going through it. They went through it. The Golden Taking State they beat their ass regular season and then put them out when Golden State didn't have a good team and was laughing at them and, you know, Steph was hitting all right. that shit hitting on them last four, year. Hitting everybody with the four rings. Yeah. And... Like, now they was hungry. All right, we got something for y'all, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so if right. Clay leaves... Like, do you trade Draymond? Do you just go and break it up? Do you still rock with Steph and Steph Dre? not going nowhere. Steph ain't oh, going nowhere. You know Steph's not going But do you, like, I mean, trade Dre, try to, re, like, completely reconfigure around Steph? Or you keep them two and I, I keep just, shuffling? feel like you, as long as you got them two, you just, won't be but so bad. I know, but I think teams are just finally, I mean, they figured them out. You know, at a, it was a time they was unstoppable with the, what they were doing. Right. You yeah. Know, now I think teams have kind of figured them out because everybody's kind of playing like right plays now. that. Style. Everybody plays the yeah. same way, so it's kind of easier to guard now. So you know, and I love what Draymond has done for the franchise. I love what he's do, you know just the type of person he's he's he stood on. Mm -hmm. You know, you know a lot of people can't stand on what he's stand on. Like him, she, and those people who get all the bad press and all that stuff, but they still can stand on it. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about Dre. But I think. It might be time for them to maybe go in another direction. Just get younger and better shooting, yeah, you know, because, right. you know, he's a role player for that team, but, you know, he probably can beat something different on another team. He might right. step his scoring up. He might do something different, but I just think they need to get younger and more athletic, you know, just younger and more athletic, for That's sure. Happen. What do we think about Steve Kerr? And I, can we get a poll up? Do we think Steve Kerr will be back? Just because he, he looked tired. He looked more tired than Steph. If that's, they bring Draymond back, is he going to want to deal with this? Is he going to want to deal with whatever's going on with Andrew Wiggins, him not looking like the same guy we saw in that, yeah. what, 22, yeah, 22 NBA Finals? Is Steph, or is Steve Kerr just going to be like, man, you know what? I got these four rings, too. I can go to broadcasting. I can go to front. I can go I do a lot of stuff other than... How much he make? It's a good question. I don't know, you but make seven eight a year, man. You can't. You can't. Let's see. Can't, still, I mean, I you know it ain't about, about bread with him, though. Yeah, but you can't just. How much did you guess? Seven eight million. Steve Kerr just got a two year contract extension in February. Seventeen and a half million per year. Man, he ain't I rescind my Steve man, Kerr maybe nowhere, stepping man, down. He ain't going nowhere. Uh, well, unless I was about to say, y'all just got to hate me. Yeah. You're gonna have to hate me too. He step down unless he want to step down. Nah, he ain't going nowhere. Nah, he, ain't going seven. Nowhere. he just signed that or two months ago. Oh no. Nah. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, so yeah, that was yeah, yeah. Let's scratch that. Hey, he ain't going nowhere. Seventeen and a half million, please. I'll be miserable for that every year. Yeah, I know the fans <laughs> probably want it, but he's like, y'all just have to hate me. Two more years. You can hate me now. Seventeen and a half million, please. Hell no. Ooh, yeah, that's bread. Ooh. I didn't know it was, I was thinking probably like 10 to 12. I didn't know it was 17. But you know what? When Monty Williams got paid, when Monty Williams oh, yeah. got that bag. He set that bar too. Popovich got a bag. Yeah, and so yeah, every, yeah, her was like, well, bagging. they getting that. What's mine looking like? What do I get? 100%. So Monty got that bag. Monty changed the game. 